stampers this is dawn and today we're going to make the floating gatefold card i had made one of these i guess it's been a few months now but we used the the cow from the over the moon stamp set which i love and i gave that card to my father-in-law but this one we're using the way to goat stamp set isn't it cute so this is the front and then you're going to open it up and that's where the floating part is of this card oh my gosh so when i designed this card I originally had one going this way and then I had one going this way so you can check out that video I think it was posted in April of this year and it's using once again the over the moon stamp set but I used the ladybug stamp set so I thought I would just kind of update it with the brand new stamp set and we're just gonna make the vertical one that goes like this okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so here are the pieces we're gonna use the smoky slate and this piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and then you're gonna score it at two and one eighth on one side and then flip it around and score it again at two and one eighth but if you don't want to score it you can always just fold it till it meets in the center just like that let me get my bone folder get my bone folder okay so that's your gatefold with the smoky slate okay now here's all the other pieces so the basic gray are for the two outside panels and these are both cut at two inches by five and three eighths and then I'm using the gray or this could I think is even the gray granite but it looks really good with the smoky slate or the basic gray so this is from the peony garden designer paper and these two pieces are cut at one and seven eighths by five and a quarter and then I'm going to cut a center with the whisper white and this piece is cut at four by five and a quarter and then you're going to use your layering dies for your squares and I use the basic gray for the scallop and this is the die that measures I think it's two and a half inch yep now the finish size is two and a half so the die will be a little bit bigger so two and a half inch on the scallop and, and then two and a quarter inch for the squares for the whisper white and this is the straight edge okay now here's the secret weapon for the floating part these two pieces of whisper white these are both cut at one inch by five and a quarter and you're going to score them the exact same way you're going to score them at one inch two inch and four and a quarter okay so it's going to look like this when you score it and you're going to also fold it Let me go ahead and fold this one so one inch two inch and four and a quarter so your one inch should also be on both ends okay all right so let's go ahead and do some stamping I'm going to stamp one of the goats with you to show you how I did it and then we'll put the card together okay so this is the stamp set way to goat so cute I love everything about this stamp set it is adorable and we're using all three of the goats and then a few of the sayings actually we're using a lot of pretty much everything in the stamp set now this does not have a die so that's where we're using the square dies the layering dies these are the two that I used for mine and then I also used the hippo and friends to cut out the goat for the front so I used the largest for the basic gray let me show you here I already got it cut out so here's the basic gray with the largest and then the next size down is with the whisper white and the goat okay so I went ahead and did all that so let's go ahead and stamp one of the goats let me grab my whisper white square Okay, so we're going to use the memento ink because we're going to use the blends for coloring our goat and I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one here she's so cute so of course this goat is a little bit too big for the square but as long as you get most of his body I don't think it really matters I think I just like him looking like he's dancing <laughs> and then we're going to use these stampin blends we're going to use the pool party light the highland heather light the petal pink light and then also the combo with the smoky slate okay I'm going to start with the smoky slate dark and all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the edge where this goat's crazy hair is all like kind of flipping out here <laughs> so cute then take the smoky slate light and I'm going to color in the goat Okay, then I'm going to take the pool party light and we're going to outline the goat. OK, 
Okay, then we're gonna take the petal pink. So now on this one here, I also colored in the, like his nose area and his face. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So we're gonna color that in with the petal pink. And then also the horns or the, I don't know, I guess you'd call them horns. Okay, so there's my little goat. He's so cute. All right, so now since I colored that one, I've already got one done. So here are the two that I've already got done for the inside of my card. So you can see those. And I've also stamped, you're the goat, greatest of all time. That's what the goat means. So greatest of all time. I already got that stamped and cut out. And I think that's all the ink. So, oh no, we got to stamp our greetings on the inside of the card. So I'm just going to keep that up to the top. All right, so now let's go ahead and build our card. Okay, so I got my adhesive. And the two and a half inch square is probably the biggest you want to go because when I make this card, I find that that size stays inside of the card so it doesn't show on the top and it doesn't interfere with the other square that's on the bottom. And that will make sense when you make this card. Okay, so let's go ahead and layer these pieces together. Okay. okay, so now we're going to take our two strips, and remember these are the one inch by five and a quarter, and you're going to score them at one, two, and four and a quarter. So the one inch down here without the one and the two inch, this one inch right here, we're going to put adhesive on that, and we're going to take our card, and you're going to put it on the inside right here, right along that score line. And you're going to fold over the flap. Oh, wait, you know what? You want to make a test run here. So let me go ahead and ad adhere this goat to the center of this panel here. So what I did is I added the adhesive on this section right here between the two score lines. So this is the one inch. And then down here we have the one inch and the two inch score line, okay? So you're going to take your one inch and you're going to put it on that score line. But first I'm going to go ahead and add my square. And it's going to be right between those two score lines. I'm going to adhere that down. And the reason I'm adding that first is because I want to make sure it's going to clear the top of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, making sure this is centered in the card. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold this gate over this panel. Okay, so there's that one. And now on this one inch, we're going to add some adhesive on that. And then this one, we're going to fold back on itself. And then we're going to put it right on the inside on the Whisper White piece. Just like that. So then this is going to make your floating part of your gatefold floating card. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so the same thing for this one. So, but this time, instead of putting it on this side, we're going to do the bottom on this end. So we're going to take the one inch again on this side. And I'm also going to put the adhesive on the center between those two score lines. So this one is going to go on the inside here, on this side. And once again, I'm going to take my goat. I'm going to put it on that center panel there. And really, I'm doing that because I want to make sure it's centered in the center of the card so it's not peeking out of the bottom this time. So the one inch with the adhesive, we're going to put that on that score line. And we're going to fold over that panel. Just like that. Put some adhesive on that. Okay, and then we're going to fold that on itself and then put that down onto the whisper white. Just like that. So there's your two floating panels on the inside. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. All right, so now let's go ahead and do some stamping with the stamp set. So it's got really cute greetings. So we're going to stamp Happy Birthday, You Old Goat. So we're going to stamp that up here. So what I find is just laying the card flat so you can have some space to stamp your greeting in the center. So we're going to stamp that. Happy birthday, you old goat, right there. <laughs> and then the two greetings in the stamp set. I got you a cake, dot, 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 but I ate it. 
So I thought that that was really cute. So we put those two stamps together. I'm just going to stamp that one time. I'm going to actually make sure it stamps straight here. Yep, that looks pretty good. So we're going to stamp this one down here. So happy birthday, you old goat. I got you a cake, but I ate it. And then this one has a little aluminum can like you got into that and ate it. It's so cute. So that's the inside of the card. Now to decorate the front, this is what we're going to do. We're going to layer this together. Right, so now we're going to put adhesive on the back of this goat here. Put this on the basic gray. That's where the Highland Heather marker was used for the little flower, the little weed or whatever he's eating. All right, now we're going to add some dimensionals to the side. Make sure it's the right side here. Okay, so it's going to be the left side on the back. I'm going to add a row of dimensionals. Close up the card. I'm going to put the goat right in the center there. Okay, then we're going to take the greeting, you're the goat, greatest of all time. We're going to pop that up on a dimensional. I'm just going to put one dimensional in the center. And we're going to put that right on that goat layer. So it's attached to this layer here with the layer, just like that. Isn't that cute? Now, of course, I would add some Winkastella. Let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so adorable. I love this card. Okay, so there's the inside and then there's the front. Let me show you the other one again. So here's the other one. Same card. I think I just swapped the goats around. Yep, I did. Okay, so that's how you make the floating gatefold card. If you have any questions, just let me know. And then I'll have all the items listed down below. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.